and for the members who uh, limited their actions to statements, statements sometimes helpful, but most of the time they cannot limit the scream ah! when they pull out your fingernails. You need to take actions. And for the member states who helped the Assad regime kill its own people, like the Russians and the Chinese, the Iranians if they were here, and the disappointing statement from the Indians, I will tell you, let's assume your scenario that the Syrian regime is fighting terrorism and that you're helping the Syrian regime in fighting terrorism. Let's assume that. What regime, how could a regime be respected, fighting terrorism, respected after displacing half of its population? How could a regime stay in power when they actually have allowed the displacement of more than 14 million, more than 14 million people? How could they be still in power when they detained me and there's proof that I was detained and tortured and my fingernails were pulled out? There is proof. Give me, I challenge you to get proof from the Assad regime showing that I did any crime. I challenge you to prove that I did any crime when I was detained as a minor, as a child. And so many People, survivors, try to tell their stories. When you tell your story, you risk your life. So many countries have taken these refugees in, but they failed to provide them with the, with the, with the protection. I was called by the intelligence services. I was called by the guard who tortured me for one year, nine months in Syrian prisons, and he threatened me on the phone. And when I talked to the police, I had a, an answer saying, Take care. Be careful. That's not enough. I learned that from the war, from years in the war. I know. I should be careful. So that's not enough. We need more help. The same people have fought for so long time. It's just tiresome to see fewer and fewer helping us. So I want to encourage you to take a step. The first step could be just talk to this survivor. Don't listen to them on the phone. Come and shake their hands. Talk to them. Be present. Be close. That's how you take responsibility. In responding to the sovereignty of the Syrian regime, what sovereignty are we talking about? This regime has allowed the Russians to lead in Syria, the Iranians to kill in Syria. In Damascus, there is prisons where the Iranians have more power than the Syrian regime. That obliges the Russians in different locations in Syria. What sovereignty are we talking about? Again, I want to be grateful for the countries that gave me an opportunity to survive. I want to be grateful for, to Sweden that gave me a home. I'm a refugee in Sweden. I want, to grateful, I want to be grateful to Norway, where I found my first love after being in a hateful place in prison. And I also want to be grateful to the U.S., to Georgetown, where it's my new home, my new place, my new school. The world, despite all pain, despite all darkness, has hope. And I live for hope. I eat on this hope. I, I see that we have potential. If I survived three years of torture on a daily basis, starvation, and psychological torture every day, you can change. You can take actions. Thank you, Mr. President.